didn't even want to see her alien boobies anyway. This is probably because <laughs> you sound a little dejected about that one. <laughs> Maybe I do. What? You just made you started it! <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies. Force the habit. <laughs> Can we just keep, like, jumping? Sure. <laughs> it's like the 50th time I've opened it today. This doesn't look like that, Mass Effect. <laughs> Tally out in the middle of a desert. <laughs> Shepard? <laughs> Korea 6? I had a buddy who got discharged. Yes, we know. We've heard this three times now. Even Prime. I like how they just keep talking when I walk by. Like, they don't say anything. Hey, Commander, thanks for interrupting our conversation. Yeah, it's not like I'm the commander of the ship and they should literally be like, Attention! Oh, yep, okay. Mm, yeah. First officer on deck! I can't get over to that side of the planet. Eh. My radar doesn't go across. Well, I, I, can't, I can't rotate it? <laughs> That's so weird. All right. Hostile detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're going to be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, sir. He just, like, flies over and just throws some eyeballs out there. <laughs> New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight. They just got one. Primark, we're going to need your help. No. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. <laughs> Do it uh, anyway! This is for Palavin. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, pew, 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 at the same pew, pew, pew. time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. <laughs> Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Pew, pew, pew. Brr, I'm gonna run away from the tower now. Yes, <laughs> distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility. Finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. Is everybody up for this? I won't say failure failure isn't an option because failure is always an option. It's just probably not the option you want. I'm a little tired. Can we do this tomorrow? Sure, we'll do it tomorrow, Rex. Okay. Uh, wait, no. I want to do this now. All right, we'll do it now. All right, then. Do you want some lunch before we leave? No, I've got my Lunchables. I'm fine. You got a Lunchables? Mm -hmm. What flavor is it? I got pizza flavored. Oh, you got the pizza one? Damn it. The R never packs me anything good. Well, this is just... This is the... Ham and salami one. It's better than the bologna one. No, that's true. I want the pizza one though. I'll tell you what. I'll give you. I'll give you the. I'll give you the little beef sticks if you give me some of the some of the pizza. I think that's a good trade. I love beef sticks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've never faced a reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? There's even a doubt. Let's move, Pijack. It's time to cure the genophage. What's a Pijack? Little little monkey creature. Oh yeah, I've asked that. Dalatrus? Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. Shut your mouth! And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Why don't you shut up? Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I believe anymore. There's too much political intrigue going on, and it pisses me off. Too bad there's not an option to say, eh, I don't know. Yeah, there needs to be a, there needs to be an option for everything that just, it, all it just says is, I have no idea, I'm just hitting buttons. All it says is <laughs> angsty teenager, and it's just, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I don't know. But I guess if you have to make a choice, do you think curing the genophage can end in lasting peace? Yeah. Really? I think so. We have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. I agree with that. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. Ugh. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. 
We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Where, where am I looking? Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. This game seems to have gotten a little glitch here since I last played it. Ugh, I wish I could have just hung up on her. Well, she gave you an option. You don't have to use it. Well, who are you going to bring with you to, to save or sabotage the Krogan cure? Uh, Garrus. I want to bring Edie because I want to look at Robot Butt. <laughs> I'm you know, a simple man of simple tastes. I, I like cybernetically enhanced booties. This is your game. You play it however you want. And if you want Robo Booties in every scene, by God, that's your right. Um, I don't know. Who should I bring? As I'm going to bring... The Beastie Boys fought for that right. The right to party and see alien and robot boobies. You know, that song is really making fun of, like, college frat boys. You could bring uh, James and pretend he's got robot boobies. That's not the same. You're going to have to really stretch your imagination into yeah. that one, though. <laughs> you think Edie's robot boobies are hard? The the body was pretending to be a human, so I would assume they got some jiggle to him. <laughs> There's a little bit of leeway. I think, I think there would have been at least one pervy soldier <laughs> that was stationed there that was like, Hey, you guys ever notice how Dr. Ava's tits don't move? <laughs> and and then everybody else would be like, dude, shut the fuck up. And what, then what one person, about? one person higher up the chain of command would be like, yeah, I know exactly what he means. And then would just like, he would like come up with this convoluted plan where he accidentally bumps into her and grabs her boob. Mm. And then she slaps him because obviously that's sexual harassment. But he's like, I got you! And then he starts this full investigation and they find out that she's actually a robot. And then they... And then she comes up with a convenient excuse that they were implants, so they're going to be a little harder than normal anyway, but they're still boobs. And then he's, all his argument... Implants got, aren't rat robo hard! I know, because I used to have some. I mean, feel... I felt them. We're getting way off track. Let's cure the Jennifer so they can feel robot boobies. Or maybe Krogan boobies. Anyway, who am I bringing? Why is it a base 12 number system? Look, he's got three... He's got six fingers and four toes. Why base 12? <laughs> Uh, maybe he's got uh, the back toe. Like, uh, he's, he's an ungulate kind of creature. He's got three toes. Like, Garrus has... No, that wouldn't be an ungulate. That'd be a polydactyl. Uh, ungulate is like hooves. Yeah, hooves. Okay, yeah, you're right. So he, he probably does have, a th like, a third toe in the back there. So, kind of like Garrus. They've got three toes each. Just like they have three fingers each, kind Do of. Do you think Liara's got claws no, on her toes? No, I don't think she does. Do you think Edie has claws? I think she might have razor blades. Can we have them installed? Why aren't we curing the genophage? Because Edie in a cat suit. You just want to stare at the character selection screen all day. Yeah. <laughs> Liara. We're uh, bringing Liara. I just closed my eyes and hit A at a random point. As every commander does. Yeah. Javik's over there thinking, you know, I used to watch Krogans have sex back in my day. <laughs> it was recreational back then. I've ordered the clans to assemble at the Hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Okay. Krogan history filled with defining moments. Most bloody. Hope this one better. Commander, you seem troubled. Hmm. Hey guys, you want to know what the Shroud told me? <laughs> I got a message from them. Never mind. Convenient Great bumps. Retrieve. The Reapers are already at the hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. And he didn't think to keep telling them? Well, kind of got a urgent matter to attend to right here. I... You, you still could have brought it up. I'll talk... It's not important. They don't need to know about it. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Rex is just like, yup. Shepard, keep them away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clan. This seems slightly misogynistic, but okay. Oh no, he had a family. No, he didn't. Genophage. Everyone pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move. All right, let's kill some husks. And whatever the Reapers have done to the Krogan, we'll probably kill them as well. It's ugly over here. Whatever you do, keep them away from the female. This is as bad as Palavin. What do you mean this is as bad as Palavin? There's eight guys down here and zero Reapers. It's fine. Yeah, this is pretty easy. Liara, you were just making a mountain out of a molehill here. If this is as bad as Palavin, I seriously don't know why they didn't just win immediately. You know what? I guess we don't need the Krogan. We can go ahead and sabotage the cure and get all those Solarian resources. Because, you know, if this is as bad as it is on Palavin, whatever. They'll sing battle songs about this Wow, someday. how'd you get so bloody so fast? Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. Kill a lot of things. 
We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Recommend haste, however. Vital signs troubling. What's a Solarian doing here? Oh, for God's sake. Nobody said anything about this. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. So this guy right here. Uh, a little hostile. Off the uh, gate. Excuse me, who the hell do you think you are? Who are you? Erd not Reeve, brood brother to our illustrious leader. Ooh, headbutt him! <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother and nothing else. For which I'm thankful. I remember what it means to be a true Krogan. <laughs> ah, oh. <laughs> we flay our enemies alive and drown them in a geyser of their own blood. We don't invite them into our home. Uh, I'm gonna tell them to fall in line. Yeah? There's no time for this. Whatever grudge you have against Solarians ends right now. As long as it involves a bullet in his head, time for some payback. <laughs> Stand down, Reeve. Yeah! The Solarian is with me. <laughs> Yay! She's making him do stuff. <laughs> She's making him stand I like down. That, I like that helmet. You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? Uh, me, I will. I will. Oh my god. And so will I. Such a fucking Mary Sue. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. There's a reaper that needs killing. I also agree with killing the reaper. Good plan. Well, he stood down for now. That aggression might get him in trouble, though. Or might get you in trouble. Mm. Oh, whatever. I just get really annoyed when people are like, Oh, I disagree for the reason of disagreeing. He's got a valid reason for disagreeing. Copy that, Artemek. We're on our way, trying to make up lost time. Shepard up. Reeve isn't the only Krogan who wants revenge for the Genophage Rex. <laughs> You'll have to placate them somehow. I'll demand the Council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the Ancients. Glory of Ancients led to Krogan rebellions. Countless deaths. Creation of Genophage. Expansion plan problematic. Uh, the what now? What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams. A future to look forward to. Until Solarian interference? No. We destroyed Tachanka ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. And now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. Mmm, I don't know. I bleh. I don't have a meh option again. Yeah, you're just gonna have to side with them. Yeah, the Krogan have earned it, or you have to make a statement that expansion could be a problem if you do it too rapidly. Eh. Yeah, that one. Any hint of the Krogan trying to expand again could raise alarms. My children aren't going to suffocate in this cesspool. I want them to witness a new age. A Krogan Empire. Rex. I'm not saying we won't ask first, but the Council can't expect us to stay here forever. Commander, on the shuttle, was there something you were going to say? Uh, uh God. You keep saying, uh, but can you use words? Because I'm curious as to what you're thinking. If I reveal it at this point now, then Rex is going to get super pissed off, and then when the genophage is cured, he's going to want to kill everyone on the council, and it's just going to be really bad. But also, if I don't tell them, then, I don't know, maybe the Krogan don't need to know? Maybe they do? No. See, I, know, I already know that if I don't tell them, she's just going to show up and be like, you should have done what we agreed that you were going to do, and then Rex is going to be like... Oh, you said that you weren't going to cure the genophage. I'm going to kill you now. And then I'm going to have to, like, shove him off of the building or something. Instead of actually, like, talking about it and being like, No, I never said I was going to agree to do that. Because that's probably what I would do in movie logic. Mm. 
Well, I feel like there's absolutely no good option here. If I bring it up, I'm gonna get yelled at. And if I don't bring it up, it's gonna come back and bite me in the ass. Uh, sometimes that's just what it is. In real life and video games, you don't, you're not making the right option, you're just making the least bad option. Trying to figure out which one that is. Alright, I guess I'll tell him. The Dalatraz tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. Just had that waiting, huh? But she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests. But familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. I guess you meant what you said about Malin's data, Shepard. Apology accepted. Hey, that worked out slightly better. Why are we stopping? That did actually work out better than I thought it was going to. Yeah. You got his trust, at least. So what is going on? What's, uh, what the hubbub, bub? The vehicles are cool looking. Oh, the front... Oh, you want to ride the Ferris wheel? I see. Rex, you're just a child at heart, aren't you? You just love these amusement parks. I want to ride the Ferris wheel. Rex, you and Morden stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. No, it isn't. It looks like Aurora Borealis. I was talking about the Krogan. Ha ha ha. They're ugly. Look at that reaper. It's the end of the world out there. What, what reaper? Oh, there he is. <laughs> the one by the That's shroud. Bad. That's Whatever the problem. Hey, new shotgun. Neat. A smaller capacity, but, uh, yeah. Let's try it. Yeah, it's true. Supply lines seem to be... Um, hey, guys, you know, we, we like, kind of jumped over a big thing earlier. I'm pretty sure we can probably jump that. What's happening, Shepard? We can't sit around like this. Well, we gotta clear off some rubble first, I guess. I guess build a ramp and... Us, but they couldn't fix the highway while they were at it. <laughs> <laughs> Valid point. What's the holdup? Road's out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper already knows we're here. Oh, thank God. Yep, here come the Turians. But, uh, yeah, the distraction's gonna be... An airstrike alone won't do it. We have to get in that fight. Just, I'm telling you, Damn it. not big enough gu cannons. We need bigger guns. Bigger Cannons. I don't care if we have to build a new road. We're going. It's gonna take 20 weeks, but okay. I'll notify the construction crews. Shepard! I've lost control! I can't pull up! Move! Whoa. We got some collateral damage going on here. Shepard, what's happening? Rex, get the female out of here now! Go! Alright, we're just gonna... The uh, road wasn't clear, but it's clear now. Whatever, good enough. Uh, apparently it is. Do you copy? Understood. Right. Save your pilots. We'll find another yeah, they way. They just Not going drove across. Oh my god. <laughs> Get to it. Well, all right. They did it. They just jumped the gap, I guess. All right then. That's convenient. Rex, you know, you I this? like having the extra armor, okay? but I don't like yeah, looking at it. Scratches. Nothing the Solarian can't patch up. Reeves truck made it out too. What was that? The Turians had to call off the like airstrike. We'll need a new plan for dealing with the Reaper. First, we'll have to find you. Where did you end up? Underground. We see ruins of some kind. You're in a sacred place. That's the city of the ancients. How do we get out? No maps exist. It's been abandoned for thousands of years. Great. You're a trailblazer, Shepard. Get through there and we'll find a place to meet up. Nothing will stop this cure. You say it's a sacred place, Rex? Because there's a dead raccoon down here. Fascinating. This painting suggests Krogan had an artistic side. Stole that some Krogan artifacts. The word. And now they have rubble. I guess you can call this artistic. Look, oh, I remember when all those Krogan were worshipping that Krogan that was standing on the exercise ball. Yeah. <laughs> what a weird religion. Let's not question that. Can I leave? We gotta find the exit, which is probably somewhere around here. Follow the exercise ball. Let's try out this new shotgun, just in there case. Is again. That didn't feel like a tremor to me. Rex, are you guys feeling these tremors? Not up here. It could be something else, Commander. It is said that Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, lives in this region. Great. Which is another reason to get your ass out of there, Shepard. Step on it. Did I hear that right? Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws? Yes, you did, Liara. When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. 
<laughs> yeah. I don't think anyone's ever going to kill it. <laughs> More exercise balls. Somebody right. put some graffiti on this one. <laughs> so somebody was down here. Yeah. Some young punk. It's been abandoned for thousands of years, except for, you know, the young punks that come down here to smoke. That's good. More Rachni. There are bound to be more than just the ones we killed. Rex, we've got Rachni here. Keep an eye out. I know. A few of them just attacked us. All that matters is getting to that shroud. Find us fast. A few of them just attacked us. We ran them over with the truck. They splattered everywhere. It was awesome. Finally. Light ahead. So we found the exit-ish. Wow, that was... In my younger days, I would have loved to have spent time here studying these ruins. It makes you wonder what the Krogan might have done if they hadn't blown up the planet. Yeah, boy, that sure was complicated for some place that's been abandoned for thousands of years. Do you want to complain, or do you want them to put in, like, 40 hours worth of exploring catacombs? Okay, that's a fair point. <laughs> Rex, I'll keep my mouth better. shut. Well, if you can see sunlight, that's progress. And the color green. I thought plants were extinct around here. Ooh. You're looking at hope. All that's left of it on Tachanka. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Shepard, that reaper is still up to no good at the shroud. Find a way out of there and we'll pick you up. What is it? We're on it. Dealing with the Playing reaper, some b-ball? Up to no good? Matter. Ahead, we've got movement. Nothing stays quiet here for long. What if everything is green here because it's all been heavily fertilized and you're exploring an ancient Krogan toilet? Ooh. This is just where the, all the Krogan dumped all Or an away. ancient battlefield! Oh yeah, you think it's a blood field? One of those crimson battlefields? Oh, okay, okay. Jeez! <laughs> yeah, not a lot of spread on that one. It's a real slug Yeah, thrower. no, it is, it is legitimately a uh, uh, slug. Don't forget, you can use your abilities too! Really great for taking out those little punks. Not really a huge fan of it. It's it's all it is a lot of damage, but the slug thrower. Oh, he just blasted that thing's chest right open. And down it goes. You don't like it? Oop. That had to be Cal Ross. Stay sharp. What if it's a different name to Thresher Maw? What if it's mating season for the Thresher Maws? And they're having all kinds of little like Thresher Maw babies. What if it's a Thresher Maw orgy? <laughs> hey, we got a brute here. Yeah. Couple little guys, the big guy. Yeah, yeah. You got this. You got this. <laughs> I think that's it for now. I just wanted to do that. Yeah, I'm happy you did. I'm glad to see that ability being used to its intended purpose. Well, it was only on one guy. <laughs> yeah, but you straight up killed him. So the trucks are ahead. Oh, I thought right. that was a person. Right I was like, whose trucks? I don't remember him. Yeah, we've got some ideas on that. What? Not now, Rex. The commander has enough to worry about. What's happening? Some crazy idea we can talk about later. Just worry about getting out of there. Wait, right what now. kind of crazy idea? I like crazy ideas. Tell me more. Well, first you gotta escape that ruin, and then we'll talk about the crazy ideas. Stop detonating your armor when I'm talking to you! No! We're a little preoccupied right now. I didn't say it would be easy. I didn't say I'm complaining. I love it when it's a challenge. Hey, look at some more Rachni here. Rachni, Rachni, Rachni. Oh, the hours hurt. I'm gonna die. Uh, a lot of people are hurt. Oh, there you go. Here we go. We'll use cover instead. Why didn't we think of that earlier? Oh, it's a brilliant idea. That was. Th this is a much better idea. Everybody, come up here and use cover. It's a new tactic I, Commander Shepard, have come up with. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> You got it, you got this, except for that guy. Yeah, the guy just ripped through your armor. Oh, I thought you might have gotten that one. But I had shields on! I got it that time. I'm really starting to hate this place. <laughs> Shut up, bug. <laughs> That's understandable, Garrus. I am also starting to dislike this place. Yes, we've gone through it several times, but this time, they're all dead. Shepard, we're coming under the bridge. Get down here or we can get to Wait, Kalros! Where? What? Rex, break off. Whoa! Okay, so... Yeah, that's a Thresher Mall, all right. It's causing some trouble. Some chaos down here. Go on ahead, Shepard. We'll try to shake this thing and find you. Woo! Thresher Mall getting closer. Tell me something I don't know. Metal and truck, an excellent iron 
supplement for Ma's diet. <laughs> I wonder where we are now. This planet is one giant death trap. And the thing is, I bet Rex is enjoying this. Q Rex coming over the radio, just cackling. I see them. Easy peasy lemon squeeze, just zap them and shoot them. And oh, it's fine. It's inside a. It's inside a ditch. See? Are you still alive? Doing what we can. What about you? Alarmed yet? Entertained. Galros is quite persistent. <laughs> Why would he be entertained? <laughs> Maybe, uh, maybe Warden enjoys this more than you thought he would. Maybe he's got a little bit of bloodlust as well. Why, why are the human ones the only ones that can't use guns? Because the human husks are all stupid. <laughs> human husks are dumb. Is that true? Are, like, human husks just, like, really, really dumb? Yeah, the reperfication process really destroys the human husk brain, so... Huh. They can't use guns. Well, that's stupid. Humans <laughs> should be the best. <laughs> Shepard, we've almost lost Cal Ross. Get down from there and we'll find you. Almost lost, Kalros. Really? All right. Almost. Uh, well, almost is good. Shepard, get over here. Breathe. Keep an eye out for that maw. I don't want it sneaking up on us. Make it quick, Rex. He's going to come up from underneath and eat him. I hope not. Move it. If Rex lost his brother today, that'd be real terrible. I don't think he would particularly care. It's Kalros. No, it's going crazy. Nope. Move, I think it just We're killed Reeve. Go. <laughs> no, 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 he was one of the good ones. No, he I, wasn't. no. What about Reeve? No way he survived that. And he was a pain in the ass anyway. Now let's finish this. There's a Reaper waiting for us. Woo! All right, so we've killed all the Reapers. Oh, wait, no, there's this one Reaper here. This is a big problem right here. We don't have a plan for this. Piss it off? I know we've beaten the odds before, but getting to that tower, I don't know. Let's just sneak We're past it. Genophage, no matter what it takes, everything my people will ever be depends on it. Then I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Cal Ross, we summon her to the Reaper. See, I knew it. Would that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper, draw it from tower while cure synthesized, released. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say <laughs> she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. Well, what are the risks? I've taken some risks in my time, but this seems crazy. And going head to head with Sovereign didn't? This is the only way to get to that tower and release the cure. There's no other choice. I wanted to know what the By risks the were. We summon her. The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. There are two Maw Hammers there, <laughs> the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing cure. All right. Everybody, be safe. Yeah, sounds like everyone knows what they need to do. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. Wait! You came through for us when we needed you most, Shepard. You've been a champion to the Krogan people. A friend of Clan Erdnot. And a brother to me. To every Krogan born after this day. The name Shepard will mean hero! Now, uh, I pushed it! Yeah, a little too late on that one. Uh, oh, well, you got the handshake. It's good enough. No, you didn't need to I hug him. This. And the kiss, uh, the, the kiss was a little excessive anyway. So you're I am Erdnot Rex, and this is my planet! But I wanted to hug I wanted to hug him. Give him a little smoochy See you smooch. on the other side. No. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have cure ready. Maybe a little pack. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's not a pistol. <laughs> it's, it's close enough. It fires I'm actually, I'm actually really bummed that I missed that one. Yeah. Well, w w did you just not paying attention, or did you not see it? No, I, just, I thought I was pushing it, but apparently I super wasn't. No. You're pressing L1 instead of L2. Is that the issue? Oh, pushing, I might have done that. Pushing the, the trigger instead of the button, or whatever. Or button instead of trigger. Yeah, I may have done that. Kind of busy, Rex. Lucky for you, I'm here. I'll handle it. I guess the next time you see a problem like that, just mash all the buttons and eventually you'll hit the right one. Just go crazy! Mash yeah. them all! <laughs> you missed your opportunity to make out with Rex. 
I didn't want to make out with him. I just wanted to be like, yeah, man, you're you're cool. I like hanging out with you. You still did the handshake, so it's some. Shepard, some luck. Original strain in storage. Preparing the cure now. Make it quick, Morton. They're all over us out here. By the goddess, to our left. What? Left where? Hmm. Not your left. Camera left. Camera left. The Reaper probably is what she's referring to. Look at it. Oh. Yep, that's a Reaper, all right. Yep, that's a big armor, armored cuttlefish. Are we, are we, there we go. Oh, that's what she was saying. <laughs> Wait, way too early on that, Liara. <laughs> all right, good enough. Whatever. Everyone all right? Fine here. <clears throat> Mostly. I think so. Did we just get shot by a Reaper? Consider that practice. Yes, we did get shot by a Reaper. Ooh, it's not happy. Uh, just gotta avoid its laser eye. Okay, Shepard. I raise the hammers. You have to activate both of them. My advice is avoid the giant laser. That's usually good advice. So, okay, we gotta activate the hammers and dodge lasers. Moving. Stick to cover. I'm not sure cover's going to work. <laughs> Use the cover while there's still cover. How am I supposed to? Oh. Well, that's gone. Not using that as cover. <laughs> I thought that was the hammer. Well... I think the hammer's uh, behind it. Oh, it's that! That's the hammer, okay. I can't believe we're actually doing this. Don't stop! <laughs> That's a big laser. Commander, this is Artemis Queen. We'll try to give that Reaper something else to shoot at. I knew they wouldn't give up. Goddess, be with them. Go! Let's push ahead! While the Turians have him distracted. Shooting lasers into the laser hole. On our left, one of the hammers. Second one's on the right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Guys, could you just shoot the just bullets in front of me? Put as many of them as you can. Okay, now we can deal with the hammers. I kinda like this gun a little bit. I mean, I granted that the I don't even know what's happening right now. Uh, I can't tell what's happening. What is happening? Brutes landed right on top of you. Mort, we hit the first hammer. How's it coming? Almost half cure. Eve's vital signs dropping. Trying to compensate. You guys take care of that Reaper I couldn't be bothered to deal with? Alright, good job. Nice work. Really killed that guy that I avoided. Whoa! Whoa! Hey now! You're an all-star! Get, uh, get fucked! <laughs> You're about to get killed. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna die. Just run away from it! Let your teammates deal with it! Commander Shepard abdicates his responsibilities once again! Valiantly! Commander Shepard has decided that he wants no part of this anymore. <laughs> He's going to go home and snuggle into bed with his blankie. Get back to the truck. I'll take care of the cure. I will? You've done your job. My job. Now get out of here. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the graphics right now, but they look like crap. Yeah, frame rates dropped pretty bad. Alright, here we go. Gotta watch out for that creepy crawly. Oh, Reaper's gonna fight a... <laughs> They're duking I, it out. Wow, that is a big thresher moth. Oh, good. Yeah, no, just slam it right into that, that thing that I need to get to. <laughs> yeah, just destroy the shroud. It's like watching a, a Godzilla movie. Oh, that's... Did it just pull the Reaper underground? Yes, it did. <laughs> All right, then. Don't have to worry about a Reaper anymore. Well, that's been taken care of. That's one down and a billion more to go. Yeah, why don't we just send that thing to kill all the Reapers? Yeah, we just need a million more of those Thresher Maws. Mort, is the cure ready? Yes, loaded for dispersal in two minutes. But Eve, dead. What happened? Stress sampling, too intense. Too much trauma. Wanted to stop. She refused. Her decision. She did it for her people. Female was stabilizing force for Krogan. Would have helped Rex rally more clans in support. Damn! Well, shit. Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. The way what? You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's gotta be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variance. I, uh, uh, no? No. No other option. 
Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosion likely to be problematic. Mort, no! Shepard, please. Need to do this. Need to see it through. For her. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. Oh, shit, man. Make it a valiant sacrifice. Oh, man. I'm legitimately gonna miss Morton. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Oh, fuck, dude. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Oh, fuck, dude! Well, maybe he'll survive this. Maybe he'll fix the cure and come down quick enough. Maybe it'll all be fine. And that elevator's moving pretty fast. Yeah, plenty of time. Oh, of course it's all the way at the very top. Get job done and go home, as you said. Morning, temperature malfunction detected. Morning, temperature malfunction detected. He's a genius. He can get this done quick. Yeah, he'll be fine. He's not gonna be fine, is he? No, he's probably gonna die. <laughs> oh, come on, dude! He's doing it. He's curing the genophage. <laughs> My zero science studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of Ah, oh, fuck, man. Yep. That's not fucking cool. Man, fuck this game. Could've gone out in a better way. Yeah? That's not fucking cool! So, it, of course it is! He went out I like mean, that's a fucking boss way to go out! He went out like a goddamn champion! That's fucked up! Lost Morton. Well, you did it. It's been done. Cure is dispersed. All those Krogan are gonna repopulate. Now they can have little Krogan babies! Probably. Unless Morden was sloppy. I don't think he was. Well, here's Eve. There's a Krogan with pink armor in the back. That's awesome. Yeah, there, there's like a couple. To the void. We commit her body. In life, this Krogan faced our greatest enemy with rare valor. In death, she has proven a savior to her people. May her courage fan the flames of hope for the future. She is now the true mother of Tachanga. Why are you putting glitter in there, man? That's disrespectful. We both lost people we care about. She was everything I want the Krogan to be. I hope we follow her example. Why am I... Why would... You're responsible because you didn't save the cure. And now you feel a little guilty. That's an Oh, option. okay. Or sometimes what happens in a war, people die. Uh, I guess I'm technically kind of responsible. She died because of a decision I made. Malin's research might have saved her. I know if you had a chance to do it again, things could be different. But you can't dwell on the past, Shepard. You can only shape the future. And you just gave us that today. Too bad about Morden, though. Yeah, it's, I'm not happy about that. He wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. Mm. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> And then I had butt racks. <laughs> Tell the Primarch I'll be deploying troops to Palavin immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Give me the prompt now. I'm ready this time. 
Oh, okay. Maybe next time. Nope. That'll have okay. to be later, I guess. Rex missed his prompt. <laughs> oh, he's just like, shit! <laughs> I could have had a prompt there. Could have hugged Shepard. Oh, man. Oh, I wanted to hug Shepard. I feel so lonely. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the Genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Duh! Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. So, that was a feel-good moment. You saved the Krogans and everything, but... Solarian support's gone now. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I have got... Karen Shepard appreciates that greatly. Karen now, Shepard is a little heartbroken right now. He got cured his eye for his dear friend Ward, but he's happy uh, you're doing the hard God thing. damn it! Why did Karen Shepard have to remember that? Karen Shepard's going to his room to cry for a while. Except every time he does, the elevator breaks down. He has to just cry on the med bay or something. I'm glad we can help each other out. <laughs> it's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. No! Garrus will not yes, coordinate them. No! No, 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 no. Garrus comes with me on my missions. Of our fleet will be there for Earth. He just takes away Garrus. He can't be on your squad. Anymore. Oh, Rebus man, I would be so fucking pissed. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying, it can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Right, thank you. Oh, I guess I'll go take a nap. Anything happens, you let me know. Right, but if you start a suicide mission without me, I'm going to be unhappy. Yeah, you should take just take a moment to appreciate the fact that they very well could have just taken Garrus out of your squad right there and given them less work to do. After all, Garrus is dead for some people already, so... Some people are playing this game without a Garrus, because Garrus died on their suicide mission. So it'd just be easier... Easier for them to just write him out of the script anyway. But who's, th who's in the game if Garrus isn't? Nobody. Just don't have a Garrus in your team. Oh, God. Oh, now we're doing this again. You no. couldn't save us! There's a dumb kid again. You're hearing whispers of Caden. Yes, you couldn't save me. You couldn't save the child. You can't save anyone. Oh my god, I know I can't save anybody, but at the end of the day, the only person I'm responsible is for myself. Someone else. Morden, god damn it! You just spared our race the Oh, and Eve. Eve is dead too. Yeah, so a lot of people died. War is hell. They're, they're really hitting hard on the whole, look at all these people you couldn't save. <laughs> I think by now, especially considering the, like, the what happened to Shepard in, like, the whole, like, backstory thing that we set up. Yep. Yeah. I think by now, he probably would be very used to people dying. Yeah, considering how you have the, was it, the Akus, where everyone, your entire colony got blown up. Yeah, I was, like, the only survivor of a whole freaking colony. Yeah. And then the kid starts on fire for some reason. Mm. Yeah. You only lost a couple of people, so you got... Uh, yeah, Morden and Caden and Eve, but there are some people that have just so many voices playing right now, they can't hear anything. They can't hear themselves think. Probably. There are optional mods to skip all these stupid sequences, but I figured I'd leave them in just so you could have the proper experience the first time around. You're welcome. Oh, boy. Oh, that's right. I fell asleep watching uh, YouTube again. I gotta stop doing that. That's the last time I watched Let's Plays of Let's Run Through the Forest While a Kid Stares at Me. <laughs> Oh, now we can do this. Uh, except that Liara is not talking. And neither am I. Great, everything's crashing. Is this a bad time? Commander, I heard this was a bad time. No, Sarah Shepard is just remembering all those who were lost. I mean, thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. Oh, you mean like, uh, all those people you let die because you're totally incompetent at your job? You thinking about anyone in particular? Maybe Eve, who you got killed, or Caden, who you got killed, or Morden, 
who got killed thanks to you because you got him killed. I'll let them rest. Now, excuse me, I got a wipe. <laughs> no one I want to talk about right now. I understand. I respect your privacy. Zoop. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Says you're a real bitch for not taking his offer. Let me guess. She called the com room. The council must be taking the crucible seriously for once. About damn time. Alright, that was all I wanted to talk to you about. Gonna done this over the intercom, but I'll see you downstairs. Bye! I was kinda hoping to catch you naked, but I guess better luck next time. Yeah, fat chance. I'm never naked. <laughs> and then the game crashed for realsies. And we didn't get to save, so we'll have to do this all over again. Oh good, we get to relive Morton's death. I think that Mass Effect is like Game of Thrones, where they're just like, hey, let's just kill off people for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, like it's like The Walking Dead, too. It's like, hey, everyone's alive. Now everyone's dead. Be sad about it. Yeah, be sad. Everybody's dead. Eh, maybe. I hate Game of Thrones. I know you do.